the Australian outback is unforgiving. The only real proving ground for off-road gear in Australia is getting out there and tackling the toughest real-world conditions without limits. This is the Cruise Master Rat Run, and this year we go beyond breaking. Way to get here, but I'm pretty keen for it. Geez, look at that dust cloud already. Have everything sealed. <laughs> It'll be good to see how all these new shocks go. We've got new shocks on the cars, trailers, everything. Yeah, you're absolutely right now on the dirt, they should come into their own. We've, um, what have we got, the settings of the adjustables on at the moment? Yeah, they're on full compression at the moment. We'll probably change them in a little bit to see if there's any difference. Yeah, you keep an eye on the shock temp through the logger. Yeah, yeah, it's all good at the moment. We should start to climb up once the, uh, Corrugations begin. So we finally got into Cameron's Corner. It was a good day, but it wasn't without a couple of challenges. We started off by getting the ram bogged. Not a bit of water in sight, apart from the spot that we stopped in, and it got bogged straight away. Luckily, the BT50 with a bit of Max Rats gear gave us a bit of a pull, and we were out straight away. Then from there, we missed a fuel stop at Yulo. They were shut, so we headed into Thargaminda, and about six kilometers out, the BT50 ran out of juice, so we had to hightail into town fill up a jerry can, come and collect them. Filled everything up and we, and we had it on. Finally had another top up at Nakundra and then a few k's on, hit the dirt. So that was the first bit of dirt for the trip. I think we did just under 200 kilometers of it. Everything's going okay so far. 
couple of lost zip ties, but that's about the sum of it. So now we're gonna set up the swags, have a couple of drinks and grab a feed and head to bed. And tomorrow we've got a big day heading down the Streslecki into the Flinders Ranges. So can't wait for that. Beautiful day here at Cameron's Corner. We're about to head out onto the Streslecki track, heading south into the Flinders Ranges. Uh, depending on how we go, we'll either get to Balkanoon or Akarula. If we're having a really good day, we might push on to Willow Springs, so we can have a couple of nights there. James has just jumped on with the OHS saying we might be dragging something. So we can get dash cam. We'll pull over and have a look. What a tanker has left the chat. Oh. <laughs> A bit of a weight reduction issue at the moment. The rear water tank's just fallen out the, the trailer. So it looks like the strap that holds it on has cracked and it's, um, it's just dropped out. So that was, we were using that to um, offset the ball weight. So we might have to, um, pull off the road a bit and figure out what we're going to do next.
jackpot. <laughs> Broke. Hey, tightened beyond what it was supposed to be. <laughs> Got it. So that water tank at the back of the trailer has been, um, we've been struggling getting it tight over the past few days. We kept tightening the bolts, the nuts up on the bolts that are underneath there. And it looks like the mounting bracket which holds it all in cracked and it fell out so it's damaged the side of the tank which may be repairable with the right, right the right goop from the servo so we might have a look at that later but for the moment we're just going to ratchet strap the whole thing up to make sure it doesn't fall out any further and then carry on it wouldn't be a rat run if we didn't have problems like this all right Big day today on the road. We had an issue where the water tank fell out of the um, underneath one of the sh chassis. We've got that all ratchet strap up and we haven't had any further problems with it on the rest of the trip. Uh, we were going to go to Balkanuna, but um, we needed fuel, so we headed into Akarula. We filled the cars up now. We've given it about, uh, what, about four o'clock now. We thought it might be a bit too much heading into Willow Springs tonight. So we're going to camp at Akarula. Upside of that is it's Nathan's birthday, one of our engineers, so we're going to head up to the restaurant at about 7.30, we're going to have a good feed to uh, celebrate his birthday. Nothing like I've ever experienced